Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today on the website of Invaluable, which is an auction portal, but we're actually going to have a look at an auction by Melis Auctioneers, who are based in Germany. Uh, they've got a small auction, well actually they've got a pretty huge auction, but a small selection of musical instruments within this auction. And we're going to have a look and see what they have. Looks like there might be a few interesting violins and a few other bits here. Only 48 lots in this auction, so it's going to be pretty quick. Um, those of you that watched the channel before, you know that we've been on uh, the Melis auctions before quite a few times and usually we actually go directly on their website, but their website is a bit clunky and I actually find it a little bit easier just to go on their catalogue via uh, Invaluable, so that's what we're doing uh, today. This particular auction finishes on November the 16th. Now it says the buyer's premium is about 29%, that probably has a bit of an invaluable extra charge on it might be a little bit cheaper through Melis themselves but not 100% sure so check that out anyway once again to say that this is a German auction so if you're looking to buy anything and you're outside of Germany or outside of Europe bear in mind import export fees shipping charges all of that fun stuff maybe CITES restrictions as well uh, so before we get on to it just like to say if you do enjoy these videos please consider subscribing or like or comment because it really does help a lot it will help us do more things in the future Anyway, without further ado, let's just crack on and see what we've got here. So, first of all, we have a cello bow here. 20 euros seems to be the starting bid. L. Ekner is the name. 20th century bow. For some reason, Melis seem to have a ridiculous amount of these Ekner bows. I have no idea why. It's not uh, a name I really know. Outside of uh, Melis, there's a bow stamped taut here, 20th century, nothing too crazy here. They always seem to have these Ekner bows. There's a few uh, bows here, three bows. Looks like at least a couple are marked here, Ekner as well. Really strange, don't know the history of that, but mid 20th century, none of them look particularly amazing to be quite honest so not exactly sure about that another uh, three violin bows here Let's see are these also Ekna ones yeah I don't know where these come from but uh, Melis seem to be seem to have this unlimited supply of uh, Ekna branded violin bows of kind of not to the greatest quality to be quite frank more again yeah no idea maybe there was a big dealer or so of imported bows and they had so much stock that they're just gradually selling off slowly so we have here concertina in case 1920 it's actually quite a nice one 100 euros to start on that yeah really nice kind of uh, design on that some nice kind of inlays so yeah, quite a nice, uh, quite a nice looking one, and with its uh, original case, so that's quite cool. Got a saxophone here, alto saxophone. Let's see. Eighty euros to start on that. Do you have any other information? It's got a case as well. Twentieth century marked V. Colhurt and Son Grasslets. Okay. Let's see, we're on to some kind of violin. Now let's see. Three and a half thousand uh, euros to start. Seven to seven thousand euros estimate. So let's see what uh, they are reporting. This is violin in case Hungary 1920s. Label Toth Janos S T Z. Okay, interesting. Not 100% sure that they will get their money for that, but uh, we'll see. Some kind of guitar here. Don't know if it's anything too crazy, I suspect not. No, just a Hofner. Right, more violins. Let's see. Interesting uh, back on that. 1200 euros to start. The estimate is zero. Interesting. Top looks a bit like it might have been 
refinished or so. Really interesting uh, back though. Might make a good uh, thumbnail. Searching for my thumbnails everywhere. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, lo looks like there's some weird things going on here. The This looks like it's replaced this part of the F-hole. Maybe it was just a break. Yeah, strange looking things happening there on the top. Scroll's quite nice. Yeah, interesting. A few more pictures here. Let's see. Okay, Raphael Ronthini or something like that. Interesting label. A few more pictures and labels here. 1850, what do they claim it to be? Violin in case, probably Italy, mid 19th century. Signed on label, Raphael Roncini, Fesse in Feno, numero 4 del 1850. Hmm, okay. I mean, it could be, uh, to be fair, it could be Italian. Uh, that kind of choice of back definitely could be looking at some of the corner work and uh, some other bits. Yeah, interesting looking violin there. I mean, it's not a bad uh, kind of starting price estimate, so definitely one to kind of keep an eye on. Right, another violin here. Let's have a look at this, 240 to start. Quite rounded kind of upper and lower bouts here. Looks kind of fairly curious another one with a red case probably shone back 18 19th century with a repair label yeah seems about right that kind of scroll turn it's very kind of german but looks okay not too bad another violin here i think we've got quite a few actually let's see 100 to start we've already got 87 bid okay interesting See, that's the only pictures. So, fine, circa 1900. Okay, 36.3 length of back, it's quite long. And let's move forward. Another violin here. 200 euro starts, already got a bid on it. it looks like there's been a previous crack there down from the button potentially. That could be problematic. Looks like it has some age to it. Let's see what else we got here. Salvatore Carcafi label, interesting. Firenze, 1799. Violin, end of the 19th century. Okay, 36.4, wow. It's very, very big instrument. Kind of uh, interesting project for someone. And another one here. Got two bids on this one already, so this one's popular. 100 euros. All of these instruments so far are in a bit of a funny kind of uh, state. Like they look a bit uh, over varnished and fiddled around with. Violin, probably late 18th century without label. 35.5. Yeah, I mean, I think that's probably a fair assessment there. Uh, where are we here? Another violin which has two bids on it. It's kind of interesting. Looks like it's that a weird repair there. Looks like it. Very strange. Let's see. Violin first half of the 19th century. Peg box broken out and scuffed, back repaired, signs of age and wear. All of these instruments look like they've come through the same kind of repairer, restorer who really didn't quite know what they were doing because uh, this all looks just a little bit strange. Okay, so violin, 100 euros to start, so already got a bid. Fairly interesting, that's a quite nice back as well. Interesting violin, that one. 
let's see what they say of this. Violin circa 1900. Okay, 35.5. Interesting that they say it's 1900. I almost would think that this is probably a bit older than that, personally. But, you know, maybe they've done a dendro or something. We don't know. Uh, violin, 900 euros to start. No bids so far. Interesting. Quite a cool back. Let's have a look at the scroll here. Big eye on that. I wonder if they're going to say that this is some kind of Mittenwald uh, instrument or something like that. Kind of weird uh, neck graph there. Some bizarre stuff happening with this uh, scroll. Joseph and Antonius Galliani. Okay. Let's see. What do they say? Violin Italy, probably Giuseppe and Antonio Galliano, Naples, second half of the 18th century, inscribed on label Joseph and Antonius Galliano. Hmm, okay. That's kind of curious. 35.3. And why have they got it at such a low starting price, really? That is yeah, kind of interesting that they would say that. Uh, it's quite odd. Hmm, interesting. Well, curious lot there. Not exactly what I would think, but there you go. I am not an expert at all, but uh, yeah, interesting. Okay. Another violin here. 300 euros to start. See what else we've got here. Violin Mark Nikurkin, second half of the 19th century, with a repair label Herman Dolling Jr., 35.8. Okay, let's see what else we got here. This looks a bit more standard. 100 euros to start. They're going to say that this is German, I would assume. Violin circa 1900 without label. A Baroque violin, apparently. 100 euros to start. It's got a bid already. Really bad button repair there as well, unfortunately. see what they say about this one probably Ireland 1790 okay inside inscribed Kirschlag Aranchi on label okay that's really weird 36 with the island okay fair enough okay well I'm getting quite confused by this uh, auction to be honest but okay Quite strange. Right, one of these kind of cornerless guitars. But sometimes the Shano family maiden, there's a few other makers as well. 200 euros to start, there's already a bid on it. I know it's not a bid on it, sorry. Finally, in the shape of guitar, France, early 19th century, designed in the manner of Francois Chano. Yep, there you go, like we said, 36.7. Yeah, I don't know, there's some strange things going on in this auction, but uh, as I said, I'm not an expert at all, so uh, it's, this is going to be an interesting one to follow. 100 euro start on this, two bids already. Kind of interesting outline, let's say. But a lot more interesting than the usual uh, Melis auctions, to be fair. Violin in case, 19th century, uh, 35.2, odd kind of shape. This looks a bit more kind of French, 20 euros to start. Let's see what they say about this one. It's 
you've got your Strad label. Finally, in second half of the 20th century, not saying a lot there. And we've got a whole load of frogs there, violin frogs, cello frogs there, other violin frogs in kind of different states of construction. Maybe these are Echna uh, frogs, another violin frogs. Here we've got another violin with a funny head on. That is quite horrible. 130 euros there to start. No bid so far. Quite a scary looking uh, head there, to be honest. Just a kind of... Oh, it's one of the Paganini uh, violins, so these are just very standard kind of trade violins. First half of the 20th century. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Got a, uh, a bassoon, I think. By Puckner. Four and a half thousand euros, okay, to start, interesting. Bassoon by Puckner, Nauheim, okay. Well, I don't know enough about bassoons to know if that is a good maker or not. Got a tenor saxophone there by Buffet Crampon. Let's have a look if there's any good images of that. Okay. Got one of these uh, kind of bass loot guitar things that I'm not particularly a fan of to be honest probably Mark Nikoke 1920 yeah they're not particularly nice in my opinion we've got more violins wow okay this looks like your standard kind of trade thing violin circa 1920 yeah with the Magini label not particularly exciting Another violin here, 1200 euros to start. Let's see. Uh, violin signed Otto Bruckner, okay, 1952. Oh, we've got a viola here. Viola, 1200 euros there. Looks in fairly good condition. Viola inscribed on adhesive label Antonio Cignoli Ferrara 1941. I mean, impossible to know, really, isn't it? It's, uh, I would be highly skeptical of uh, that label, but you never know. Anyway, 1200 euros to uh, start on the bidding. Another violin here. This, I suspect, is modern Chinese already with that uh, crazy uh, kind of wood choice all over. Kind of crazy bird's eye type thing. Let's see what they say here. Violin in case. Signed on adhesive label Vaclav Hudek, violin maker, Vienna, 1969. I severely have my doubts out. I think this is just a modern Chinese uh, violin, but, you know, like I said, not an expert at all. Another violin here. Again, nothing super crazy here. This looks a bit like a kind of Romanian Hungarian violin to me. Violin case okay, signed on the label Volta Muluk Geigen Baumeister Bad Brambach 1956. That's probably correct then. Not especially exciting. Another viola here. Let's see what does this one say? That oh, scroll's quite nice actually. Joseph Sermak. Violin case marked on adhesive label Joseph Sermak. Bohm Schomburg by Tanvald, nineteen eighteen. Nineteen hundred euros there. Seems a bit pricey to be honest. Another violin here. Let's see, 900 euros to start. Seems a bit pricey. Interesting crackle on the varnish there. Unfortunate repairs. Uh, violin, probably Italy. Inside with handwritten illegible adhesive label dated 1862. 
Hmm, I don't know. It's uh, it could be, but it's a highly speculative lot, really. I I wouldn't want to personally risk it. Also, I don't think it looks particularly interesting. Another violin, two and a half thousand euros almost. That's the estimate. Looks like quite a nice back on it though. Be interesting to see what this is. Nice, neat work in any case. Let's see. Kurt Schmidt. Violin, signed on adhesive label Kurt Schmidt. Wollhausen, near Mark Kirk in 1948. Could be, looks like a nice violin another violin here 900 euros Let's see violin in case probably England late 18th century hmm okay let's have a look at that again I feel quite sceptical about uh, some of these attributions, to be honest, but you never know. Another violin here, 1300 euros. Nothing too exciting here. Violin signed on adhesive label, Richard Rank, violin marker, maker, Barnick by Bad Elster, dated 1893. Don't know, not sure about that one. We've got a double base here, 240 euros to start. Twentieth century. Okay. Interesting this is like a model of a piano action here. These would be quite cool though for a uh like a display. AD Lexow, AG Berlin, 1920s. That's pretty cool. 80 euros to start. These are pretty cool. Quite like that. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at this one. Another model of a mechanic there. Which one is this? Which company is this? Another Lexow Grand Prix, 1927. Model for piano mechanism, Lexo 1930s. Yeah, interesting. Those are quite cool, actually. So good to see those. Then we have one of these kind of music box type things. Circa 1900. This is another uh, music box, plate music box. And then the last thing, we have one of these polyphon things that plays the uh, the discs. 800 euros to start. Yeah, uh, and that is it. That is basically the Mellis musical instrument thing. Quite like these actions. Interesting auction. I'm highly confused by some of the attributions. But once again, like I said, um, I could be just completely on another planet about some of these things and not really understand uh, you know where they're from it's pretty difficult to know some of the things kind of make sense other bits I'm just re really quite uh, confused about to be uh, quite honest but quite an interesting auction so definitely check it out and see what you think uh, as always I'll put a link in the description so uh, yeah check it out and let me know in the comments section if you have any thoughts of any of it because I'm definitely confused by this auction so uh, thanks a lot appreciate uh, everyone who watches and I'll catch you next time Ciao.